Hello, and welcome to another episode of FMOD in Two Minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today, we're talking about something called the seek speed function. What I have here is a simple ambience loop of some wind and rain. And what I want to do is add the rain to the wind as an additional layer. And if you listen to what happens right now when I jump from zero to one, it's quite an instantaneous switch, quite an abrupt change. And that's what we're going to fix today. Have a listen. Right, so I'm going to show you a way to fix this inside of FMOD today. If we click on the parameter, at the bottom here, we suddenly get a seek speed box. At the moment, you can see that the seek speed value is on instant. And as soon as we move the dial, we start getting a value and time added to it. Now watch what happens when I turn this up. You can see there's an orange dot following the value of the parameter up here on the switch. Essentially what this is, is a delay to the change in value of the parameter. And if I play this again and switch instantaneously from zero to one, you'll see this in effect. Again, if I switch back down to zero, And you can see that I can change the speed of this. It could be very quick, almost instant, or I can make it super, super slow. This can also be applied to music tracks. And one example I really love doing is adding reverb to an existing piece of music. So all I've done here is, as you can see, added an automation curve to the wet level of the reverb. And we're just going to see this in action with the seek speed function. Once again, I hope this gives you an idea of how to use in any other situations that you may come across. And if you found this useful, please subscribe and look forward to more quick beginner tips in FMOD.